what's going on guys we got a new series today we're gonna be taking over the Jacksonville Jaguars with an all-rookie team so we got Watson Watt McCaffrey we've got all rookies on the Jaguars and we're gonna see in a franchise how well we're gonna do we're gonna try to make it to the Super Bowl so right now our team overall is a 75 and we're going to try and see what we can do with that as well. Our first game's against the Texans. Let's go. Oh, that's a fumble. Let's go. First play, our ball. Let's go. That hit stick, though. As you and I both know, one reason team script plays to start a game is so they can practice them ahead of time. I so first career you, touchdown pass with Deshaun Watson. The All right, let's go. Next to play one there. <laughs> We're going to no, go with the run the first play. In the script because they want to have good memories when they go into a ball game, not something that could have gone wrong. There it is, the first NFL carry for Leonard Fournette. Get a first and down, first rush, let's go. Before he's brought down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right the oh way they're going, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we Let's call go, the rookie. second and the third levels. Let's go, rookie. Use them hands. The, spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. And they'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Blitzing on the right side. Yep. Throwing again is Watson. No, get off the me. First NFL catch for East Carolina, Zay Jones. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Wide open first career touchdown pass. Deshaun Watson. Let's go. So we for the Houston Texans as they make their way onto the field. Another season for them that begins with a lot of optimism. They coming off a second straight AFC South title, finishing nine and seven, three straight years. Maybe they're hoping this year that ten wins is a minimum for them. Ten wins and beyond. Oh, we almost got that first sack. That close. Get JJ Watt back. They drafted Deshaun Watson in the first round of quarterback. They need to shore up that position in order for them to make the run that they expect, one that could culminate in a Super Bowl appearance. On second down, here's Bortles. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. I feel like now better not be on us. Oh my god. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the pass. I still got the sack. Seems okay. like the officials Whatever. are gonna let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always gonna That is the, the worst penalty I've ever seen. They go play action here on first down. This one complete. It's CJ oh, man. And whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs, in this case the feet. Alright, looks like we're gonna ball to the twenty yard line to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. The Jags getting ready to set up shop on offense. And Charles, it's a question with them that I feel like we've asked many times before. Is this the year you think that they turn it around? They enter 2017 oh, having missed the playoffs tacklers. for a ninth consecutive year. And until Jacksonville answers that question affirmatively with a playoff run and a playoff appearance, we keep asking that question, and rightfully so. Look, they've had excellent drafts over the last three, four, five seasons, and most of that on defense. This year, they tried to hit it on offense to try and help out their young quarterback, Blake Bortles. They were Leonard Fournette, the big runner out of LSU. Cam Robinson, the offensive tackle out of Alabama. They want to control the ball a little bit more, and they think if they can Fournette, do that, play first on rushing offense, touchdown. All right, we got to get Fournette South. a rushing touchdown this drive. Fournette. 
first down carry. Oh. Fighting through. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. 11 yards of Watson. Watson so dangerous with his legs. Get him a little run in. Things changed here as he picks up the first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Oh, now come on, block your man. To push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part we always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Fournette on the counter. Open space inside the Oh, team. we almost get there. One yard line. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. That good for 22 and a first down. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL All right, game. get in there, Fournette. He's advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that. They're thinking they were right there we go. This. They'll try to run forward with Fournette, and he'll take this. First game. rushing touchdown. Watson, touchdown. first thrown touchdown. Fournette, first rushing a touchdown. Let's go. 14 and nothing. Touchdown in his first career game. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Immediate dividends from their number one pick, Charles. They expect, obviously, big things from him. And he's already starting to deliver. But here's the question I've got for you. Who gets the first football? Because, you know, when you score your first touchdown in the NFL, they give you the ball, right? Right. Who's going to get it? Does it go to mom? <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> Wife, girlfriend, where does it go? Why High school coach, who gets it? Why isn't he putting that in his own trophy case? Well, that would be Oof. a little bit selfish now, wouldn't it? What about all the people to help him get there? Well, what are you going to do, cut it up in 30 pieces? Good point, he gets to keep it. A reminder that later tonight, we'll see the Giants and Cowboys battle in Dallas. Seems like they're always playing in week one. And then on Monday night, a doubleheader. Adrian Peterson, his first game with the Saints. He's already back in Minnesota to play the Vikings. And then a 10-20 start on the East Coast. It's the first game for the L.A. Chargers traveling to Denver. A nice AFC okay, Bortles. And a big collision. You traded Bortles. Lines up flat on his back. For Watson. Of 11 at a Texans first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block? Throwing these short little passes, receiver, five for five or forty yards. Alignment. That makes that play a really nice right. timing play, and sometimes it can break big. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion. I'm gonna have to like bring peppers do down. Oh, that's picked. I didn't do anything, but that was picked. Pick six. Hooker. Pick six. With the mustard-looking jerseys. of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well. Yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. What just happened? As his guys will set up shop he just got wrecked. Line. I want to see this replay of that. Oh yeah, he did a flip. Ooh. Okay. Now 
Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs. Who can Again? Beat oh, man. A great read and it's picked off. And he will take this one Let's go. Down. Another pick six. Who was that? Reddick? That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's I don't know if I changed the difficulty, actually. It might be a rookie still. Oh, well. And come out to start the third quarter. This is a, a, a gimme game then, for XP. Yep, that's what it is. Half. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here comes Bruce Ellington on the return. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped. Just Man, you could really take out people's legs in this game. The Texans offense now. They get set to head back onto the field. I think they're going to run the ball the first yet. Half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pre uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use. Got him. Garrett got his first sack. The number one overall pick, Miles Garrett. And it'll be a third and about 13. Well, there's your first ROI, right? Return on investment of their first round pick. His first NFL sack. I know they want him to be an impact player right out of the gate. A lot of pressure to put on a young man, but I think you agree he has the ability to deliver on it. And he just did. Probably the first Ew. of many sacks. In this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They'll run it now out of the gun. Seven rushes, 71 yards. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup and now it's first and goal. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play. Touch. Down. Let's go. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be bunch of first touchdowns forever. this game. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of this. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna sim the rest of the game. I think we got a big enough lead. We're not the Falcons. Player stats. What? I'm very confused. 85 yards for Watson? What did they rush every play? What the heck? So we got an inter interception. Like Bortles threw three. 85 yards, two passing touchdowns. No interceptions. I'll take that. Rushing. 
134 yards. Not a bad game. Our overall 75, 81, 75. We're going to auto upgrade our players. Still the same. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that sub button down below. Check out the rest of our series coming up. And I will see you guys later. Peace.